at night on a random Tuesday and I realized my hair is in serious need of some TLC so I am going to be doing the maximum hydration method to you know get my curls to be more popping more hydrated this method has been incorporated into my hair routine a lot more since the first video that I posted about the maximum hydration method and also the update but I figured this time why not just do a full nighttime hair care body care and skincare routine just so you know we can fill those gaps because if you do this method you already know it takes a long time but the kicker is this time around i'm going to take a lot of your advices that were in the comment section of my last video change up the order of how i use these products so if you're familiar with the standard order of the maximum hydration method you know the first step is to clarify then the second step is to co-wash and then you do the clay rinse after the fact and then you apply your leave-in and your product since the clay mask and the apple cider vinegar already has clarifying properties what i'm gonna do is just wet my hair and go right in with the clay mask Oops. i just filled the clay mask showing you guys right there but so basically i poured seven scoops of the clay into a wooden bowl i eyeballed the amount of apple cider vinegar and water that i added if you wanted to see the exact measurements you can check out my previous video but this time i just eyeballed it based on the amount of hair i have so right now i'm just gonna wet my hair prior to putting the clay mask on obviously this is a clarifier and it will dry out my hair if i just apply it right onto my dry hair so i wet my hair as much as possible and do a light finger detangle i already had some leave-in conditioner in my hair for when i originally styled my hair in the bun that i had it so the water just reactivated that product so i just do a light finger detangling session so when applying the clay i pretty much just took random sections and applied it throughout i didn't really have an organized method of doing it i didn't really care if there were clumps i just made sure it was as evenly distributed throughout my hair as much as possible i made sure i made enough based on the amount of hair i have that's very very important i believe the first time around i ran out so this thing goes pretty quickly so just be careful about that when you make it if you want details as far as the proportions that i use the exact proportions that i use because i know i eyeballed it this time around you can check out my previous video the only thing i would say is this time around i made sure to get around my edges and then the nape of my neck because i find that those areas tend to get a bit more dry and they're not as defined when i do my curly hair routine but i realize that i kind of neglect those areas so when i'm all done this is what it looks like there's a lot of clumps i don't shy the mask away from my roots just because the benefits it actually does help your scalp so i just section my hair into two sections when i'm all done because now i'm going to leave the clay mask for about 20 minutes and in the meantime i'm just going to shower because your girl is looking like the walking dead at this stage so now i'm just gonna put on my exfoliation gloves instead of i've been using this instead of the loofah lately and i use my nivea body wash I make sure to get my neck because that's where the clay was kind of sitting and then now i'm gonna take my into the night body scrub as well as this exfoliating rag to get my back because listen do not neglect your back when you shower there are places that unless you have crazy flexibility there are places that your arms just cannot get when you shower so i just really like to use this exfoliating rag and go over my body as much as possible if you don't prioritize exfoliating when you shower you do not know the capability of how soft your skin can feel when you get out and you moisturize it so quick tip right there i cannot forget my face because that clay mask was everywhere and it's okay it has a natural property and it does have benefits for your face so i didn't really mind it getting all over my face but now i'm just going to use my clarisonic as well as a cetaphil facial cleanser just to go all over my face and get everything off i did film a complete skincare routine for my last video so if you have not seen that make sure to go and check it out that was a shameless plug right there but yeah but that video is really good so make sure you check that out if you want to but now i'm just gonna rinse out the clay mask as much as possible it does take a while to rinse it out when you rinse this stuff out in your bath you're gonna have to clean and scour your bath because it gets everywhere 
This thing is pretty messy, and to show you how much it's worth it, it doesn't really matter how messy it is or how long it takes me. I just love, love, love the results. So if you haven't tried it, I'm telling you, just one time. Just try it one time, and then you'll see exactly how much your curls pop. So I'm going to deep condition my hair with the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask and just leave it with my hot head cap for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to use the moisturizer slash body cream from that same Into the Night line. I just feel like after exfoliating and putting this cream on at nighttime, it just makes my skin feel exceptionally soft. So to set the mood for the rest of my self-care routine right here, I'm just going to light a candle and listen to some motivational audio from my favorite speech by Denzel Washington. I don't know if this is weird for anyone, but this is just what I like to do. I just find it very motivating. Every failed experiment is one step closer to success. You've got to take risks, and I'm sure you've probably heard that before. Mm, I feel like that's probably one of the most motivating speeches that I've heard. I don't know why it just really resonates with me. So I just play that in the background as I apply my mask. And this is the Peter Thomas Roth pumpkin enzyme mask and i wouldn't necessarily recommend this just yet just because this is my second time using it and i'm still trying to figure out if i like it or not and it's pretty expensive so i don't want to really put something out there that i don't like just yet so i'm still feeling this out but i will say that after rinsing this mask off my skin did feel very very soft but i will say that i'm very choosy when it comes to skincare products I will spend the coin, but I'm a simple kind of girl when it comes to what I put on my face and what I actually incorporate into my routine. I just want to actually make sure the product works over the long term. But so this is what my hair looks like after rinsing out the deep conditioner. And with no surprise, my hair is absolutely soft. I'm really happy that I took your advices. It does make sense conceptually, you know, putting the deep conditioner on after using the clay mask and not before just because the clay does have clarifying properties, like I said, so I would have just been clarifying out the conditioner, but I was just following the maximum hydration method. But going forward, I will definitely be using it this way. I just feel like my hair feels much, much more softer. So a few of you were commenting that your hair felt drier, you know, using it the standard way. So I will highly recommend altering the method and doing this variation to see if it works for you. A leave-in of choice to style my wash and go is the Carol's Daughter Goddess Strength Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm really liking this leave-in conditioner lately. It's been growing on me. It's kind of creamy, but it's very lightweight and moisturizing. And it's perfect to go under any gel. This leave-in conditioner has been a staple of mine. So I'm just going to apply that all throughout. And you guys will see how the texture of my hair changes with different moisture levels. And then I'm going to use my tried and true Eco Styler Gel to go over it. I just feel like using the Eco, my wash and go lasts a lot longer, especially this time around since I'm going to be air drying. It does weigh my hair down a bit more and provides me with a lot more hold than volume on the first day, but it's okay. I really like it that way. I don't mind it. I've mentioned that several times in my previous videos that there's just times when I prioritize definition over volume and I prioritize hold over volume as well. So with using the Eco Styler Gel, I'll take small sections and then smaller subsection and then smooth it down. Right here, I just change up the lighting just so you guys can see how shiny my hair is at this stage and a few of you guys were mentioning that your hair reacts the same way like mine because i know my hair is 4a when dry and it behaves like a 3c curl pattern when it's wet and i don't know i just don't really relate to the hair typing chart at all but i know that a few of you guys were saying that your hair reacts the same way my favorite thing about the Eco Styler Gel to style my wash and goes is just how long it holds my hair and the fact that it weighs my hair down just enough so that it doesn't really shrink up my hair that much. With other gels, my hair tends to shrink a lot. So with the Eco, my hair will kind of stretch out a bit and then shrink as the days go by, which gives me a lot less shrinkage. Third time over. doing this method and I still cannot get over how shiny my hair is. Like, what? It's crazy. Let me play with this lighting for y'all a little bit so y'all can maybe kind of see. See? Yeah, the shine that this method gives my hair is definitely my favorite thing along with the curl poppage. I cannot stress it enough. That's why this method is not going nowhere. I don't care how messy it is, how messy it is, or how long it takes me. 
So you can see a side by side of how different my hair looks once I apply the gel, a lot more defined, a lot more shiny, and then when both sides are completed, this is what I'm working with. Don't be alarmed at the fact that my hair seemed a bit like stretched out. My curl pattern is looser in the front and I know as the days go by, my hair definitely shrinks up. I've been diffusing for y'all a lot lately, but your girl is just about to air dry because I'm loving my curls and I just want to let it dry naturally and chill with the heat, you feel me? So I low-key feel like this method has grown out my hair a lot. Like. I posted a trim video too like about three weeks ago and I really still feel like my hair has grown a lot since that first maximum hydration video I posted and that was like that was like only like two or three months ago. I'm loving the results and thanks for rocking with me. Bye y'all. I'm embracing it. If you make it bad, yeah, then you gotta lay in it.